All right, one other thing that I want to do with you guys is measure the scale length of this instrument, all right? Uh, it's just such a unique size, I just want to be sure. The way we do that is we're going to measure from just inside the nut to the 12th fret. Then we take that number and multiply it by 2, and that's going to give us the scale length for the neck, right? If you have a, any neck lying around your house that you don't know what the scale length is, this is how you do it. And then there's also measuring from the inside of the nut all the way up to the bridge. This is a little less perfect. I mean, when you measure there and you're looking for 25.5 inches because of all the different saddle lengths, you know, it's, you're going to be off a little bit. But as long as you're right there, you know, right at 25.5, give or take a tiny bit, you know it's right. So first we're going to check the intonation to the 12th fret. I lay, I'm laying this right at the edge of the nut on the inside. So it's just running up against the nut. All right. And that is right on 12 and 3 quarters inches or 12.75 inches. When we multiply that by 2, we get 25.5 inches. This neck is a 25.5 inch scale neck. And it should right now be on a 25.5 scale length instrument, right? It is, but we're going to just check, right? To check the full length, we do the same thing. I'm going to go right up to the saddle, more or less. And we are right there at 25 and a half inches. So this instrument does, in fact, have the same scale length as a normal Fender style guitar.